In this tutorial, we're going to look at setting up aliases and routing for the DIN connected MIDI devices. In addition to the two iPads connected to the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus via the USB ports on the front, I also have an iPad 1 connected to the DIN ports on the front using an iConnect MIDI 1. I also have three other DIN capable synths connected to the three DIN port pairs on the back. The microcorg is connected to DIN port 2 on the back of the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. The MS2000 is connected to DIN port 3 on the back of the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. And the Gaia is connected to DIN port 4 on the back of the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. The iPad 1 is running MIDI Pattern Sequencer, and you can see from the column on the left I'm planning to send MIDI information to the iPads, to a microbrute connected via the host port, the microcorg, the MS2000 and the Gaia. Seeing this in action will be part of a different tutorial. For the moment we're looking at how we can set these up in iConfig. In iConfig the DIN ports are simply labeled DIN1 through DIN4 and if we look at the port routing we can see that they show up there but it can be difficult to tell which devices are connected to which port. So we're going to go back and as we did with the host port and the devices connected to it we're going to name the items connected to the DIN ports. I have my iPad sequencer on DIN port 1. I have my microcorg on DIN port 2. So we'll replace that with an alias as well. I have the MS2000 on DIN port 3. And I have the Roland Gaia on DIN port 4. Now if we look in the port routing section, you can see I have those names visible, which makes it easier to work with in iConfig when I set the routing in the matrix. Because later on I want to have my iPad running the sequencer to send not only to my door on Jack 3, but also the iPads, I'm going to connect that up here and also have it send to the individual DIN ports. In addition, because I have the microbrute available to me on the host jack on port 1, I can connect that also in the matrix to send to that device as well from the iPad running the sequencer. You could also route any of the other DIN ports to any of the other ports on the right hand side. Because each of them has a playable keyboard, I might choose to do that if I'm using them to drive the iPads or other devices.